Hey, what is up guys? This is John the Artist, and I'm doing another drawing for you all. Today we're drawing Wednesday Adams from the show Wednesday and the Adams Family. I finished the show, and it is really, really good. For those of you who have not watched it yet, it is different than the Adams Family. A little bit, because the Adams Family, they were just kind of strange. And they just did things differently than everybody. Like, oh, they hate uh, roses. Morticia hates roses. So she would just cut the entire rose off and keep the stem. <laughs> or uh, Wednesday just likes wearing black clothes. And they don't like anything happy or cheery. Enough like your idea of torture would be their idea of a great Saturday night. But, but the show Wednesday... It focuses more on the daughter, who's getting a lot older and is in high school. And she is in a, like, uh, private school, actually. And um, there are some crazy events that happen. And it's, uh, it's hard to talk about without spoiling anything, but... There are some murders going on in... The show and so Wednesday is trying to investigate them and everyone says that she's crazy and that nothing is, nothing is going on but she knows better so she continues looking every night to see what kind of clues there are to prove it she knows somebody's behind it but she doesn't know who and her parents don't really understand either the classmates think she's strange but I think they did a really good job. She's older now, so she's hot now. People are attracted to her. She's like a teenager. Actually, now that the show's over, she's like almost an adult. But this is her school uniform. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of like Harry Potter, where she's got like the collared shirt and the tie and the sweater and the jacket. It's like, ugh, that's so many layers. It's too hot. I've dressed up as um, Harry Potter before, and I had to wear all those layers, and let me tell you, it was too hot after a while. I like how she has the stripes, which is kind of resembles the Beetlejuice show, but that's different. Well, here we are. I am using my line tool in Clip Studio. And I am just making sure that the house looks really nice and the lines are really crisp and clean. And then if you hold the shift tool, then the lines will be perfect. So I guess it's kind of cheating, but I had a perspective line drawn and vanishing points and all that stuff. If you know what that, if you don't know what that is, it's um, where you literally draw like a point on one end of the paper and a point on the other end of the paper and then a line in between the line in between is a horizon line so when you go outside and you notice everything is like a lot smaller in the distance that's because of the horizon line everything goes to that segment no matter where you are whether you're just walking down the street and there's buildings on sides or you're at the beach and there's nothing out there it will all intersect into that one point. So like two point perspective is like two different places that your eye would see. The uh, I think it's pretty complicated when you go past two point perspective. There's three point perspective. That would be like a cityscape where you would have your left. There'd be a dot on the left, dot on the right, and the dot on the top of the paper too. So that way you would see three angles of the building and it would show how like tall the building is if you want to show like how high up something is to like freak people out for like a comic book they would use the three-point perspective and you would see it like um, you'd be looking up at it so that's very complicated we didn't do any of that here we just did a normal two-point perspective because the focus is Wednesday but uh, I could make some tutorials if you guys would like. Um, 
starting the channel, I didn't really know what people wanted, so I kind of just throw stuff at the wall, see what sticks, so to speak. And you guys really like the artwork, and you guys really like the voice acting. You don't really like the video games that much. I enjoy the video games. So, I guess there's going to be more artwork and maybe some more voice acting coming up. I don't really know what to put for either. Would like suggestions in the comments if you could tell me what I should draw next. That would be very good. It's mostly been Halloween themed stuff, so anything spooky and Halloween related, I'll probably be drawing for the entire month of September, October. But here I am just making sure that. The lines look really nice. This took a very long time. I had to speed this up a lot. So much so that my computer keeps crashing. Like, not crashing, but like the video narration that I'm trying to do. It keeps failing. And then I have to hit stop and do it again. Because it's just so much uh, work was put into this page. And I'm speeding it up so quick that it's having a hard time keeping up. But her clothes are basically just black and gray, or black and white, or dark black and light black. She's a little bit of color with the backpack, but I don't even think she had a brown uh, straps on her backpack in the movie, or in the show. It's just all black. And she's not quite as pale as she used to be, because she is Spanish. Her name's uh, Jenna Ortega, so... She has, like, a different color, not pale. I was like, maybe it's a little darker than that, actually. That looks more realistic. Latina. Okay, I didn't give her any fingernails. I just noticed that. Hmm. Well, whatever. She's got little slender Barbie hands. <laughs> to find this pose, I basically just found a picture of someone crossing their arms on the internet. And then I just drew their hands in there. So, like, the right one goes over the top and the left one goes under the, underneath. So you only see the hands on one side and then you see the arm and the hand on the other one because it's closer to you. Now we're filling in uh, background and all the whites that are missed. What I did is I just splatted, like, a bunch of purple on the other layer below it. And that will be like a quick way to fill in everything but then i don't want everything to be purple i just want the majority of it to be purple so then i have to go in there and paint by hand like each thing to fill in those different things like the fence i enjoy doing it like slowly and and like taking my time rather than just like using the paint bucket tool and having it done instantly because uh, coloring was always very therapeutic when i was a kid so that's my favorite part. We got a lot of grass to fill in here. And I was trying to make sure that the lighting would be right, so I think I darkened it up quite a bit at the end, too. But that's the iconic Adams Family house. I found a picture of that off the internet. And then we got the full moon with some clouds, obviously. Spooky. Some bats. I went all out for I can't tell what it's doing. And we're just filling in the rest of the clouds and the bats and the house. And then I'll be doing some shading and then we'll be done, basically. So, um, I need bats pretty close up I actually kind of do just look like the bat symbol and they didn't just make that up they really do have the wings with like their hands or talons underneath and then the body part and then top they do have two horns on the head so Batman was made uh, pretty well it looks like a real bat as the silhouette silhouette goes anyway now I'm just trying to find like a wood texture color. And I didn't want it to be the same color as her skin because that would look strange. 
And then we got the roof. And then, uh, let's see what else do we do. I just zoom out and do a multiply layer. And that will allow you to color over the color that you already did, but it will instantly make it darker. So, oh, actually, I forgot to record that part. <laughs> now she already has darker in her hair. That was done by the multiply layer. If you just color over it normally, you would have to keep going, clicking on the paint bucket thing in the left, the little square thing, and you'd have to keep darkening it every single time. But the multiply layer, putting it on multiply makes it a lot faster, and then you can just paint right over it. So that's what I'm doing here. We don't have any light hitting underneath her chin, so there's a shadow there, and a little bit underneath her eye. We don't want to make her look crazy. There's not a whole lot of shading going on here. And I guess I spent a lot of time drawing her face. I need to zoom out. When do I zoom out? If it sounds crazy, like what I'm saying, I'm talking over my uh, artwork. I'm not talking like while I'm drawing it. That would be really difficult and take a very long time. This would be a three hour video if we did that. She's got a little bit of makeup. Not too much. Not even in the show. I think I made her more makeup than normal. But you normally just do uh, eyeshadow on like the lids of their eyes. And the eyeliner is just too make it so you don't see the fake eyelashes really that's what girls usually do and then if you do bottom uh, eyeliner then it usually just looks really spooky so that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i make a new video every monday tuesday and wednesday if you're new to the channel please subscribe it helps me out a lot and i'll see you next time Bye bye